is up in arms about the Phoenix Suns preseason game where they lost to a team I had never heard of before today, the Adelaide 36ers. I'm sorry, was I supposed to know them? Was that – am I not up on my international basketball hoops? I don't know. At that point, I guess I'm just not plugged in enough. They didn't, though, just get beat. They got thrashed. 134, 20, 124. What if it was 134, 24? 134, 124 in Phoenix. That would have been like the Mavs game. <laughs> 134, 24 is the first half score of game seven in the Mavs. It's caused, though, this beatdown against the team none of us, I don't think, knew. It's caused a lot of Suns fans to feel like the, the roof is crashing in. It's already a train wreck. This is just the next sign of it. And you can understand why. You've got a head coach, Monty Williams, hasn't talked to his star center, DeAndre Ayton, since uh, June, May. May, June, somewhere in there. You have an integral player of their success, Jay Crowder, who wanted an extension, wanted to start. Now he's not around the team. He wants to be traded. You have your team owner. We've already rehashed this, but we'll do it again. Robert Sarver, just a generally bad guy. Just misogynist, racist, and a man of faith, of course. Um, and not much is going right for the Phoenix Suns, to be honest. But to me, coming off of my monastery trip, I want to look at the bright side here. This isn't about the Suns losing to an NBL team. It's about an NBL team beating the Suns. Because that is something different. When you think about it in terms of how Australia is feeling at the moment, they have got to be feeling pretty hyped up. Australian basketball, here. Like, here, here. It was probably here when LaMelo went over there to get himself seasoned and become the number two overall pick. Three, three, two. It was Ant Edwards. It was James Wiseman, LaMelo Ball. Number three. They are balling down there. People are finally starting to notice. We're not talking about just Patty Mills and Ben Simmons and Josh Giddy and Joe Ingles and Dyson Daniels. We're talking about the quality of the competition of the NBL as a whole. There's Australian pro hoops, and they have come a long way. And that shows, right? Because I have never heard of the 36ers, which is the, a very hilarious bootleg name for the 76ers. Former Memphis Tiger Craig Randall. Former Washington State star Robert Franks lit up the Suns for 67 points combined. And by the way, the Sun starters all played. If you're wondering, oh, well, maybe they were just like sitting on the bench and we had like campaign and Landry Shamet out there. No. All Sun starters played a minimum of 22 minutes. Even Monty Williams said after the game he didn't give his opponents enough respect. It's kind of like game seven. But he'll be getting it now, though. He'll, they'll be rolling into OKC to play against Giddy. They'll be playing the Pelicans against Dyson Daniels. This is going to be, these are going to be games that everyone in Australia is going to tune in for now. At least they feel like, oh, well, we have a shot. Last remaining problem, though, in terms of why we maybe don't know about this game. Logistics. Only seven, if you can believe it, Seven NBA teams sent scouts out to that game. It's called the Blitz. Why? Why did only seven come? That's what she said. It was held in Darwin, <laughs> which apparently is next to impossible to get to. As ESPN reported, some NBL teams didn't even send executives to the Blitz because of how much of a hassle it was to get to the Northern Territory. Australian teams wouldn't even send their scouts out there. Why would you put this game in the middle of remote territory? Just for fun, because I have so much time on my hands. I checked in on a ticket to see what it would be like to get to Darwin. First of all, cheapest cost of a ticket, 3K. Second of all, quickest transit time that I could get out of Washington, D.C. was three days including 36 hours and 30 minutes of flight time, plus all of the time you're sitting around airports in your connecting flights. I mean, this could be in the middle of nowhere. This is like Tasmania. But the bottom line of all this is that don't feel bad for the Suns. Feel happy 
for the 36ers. I can't even get their name right. I almost said 76ers again. They could very well be a train wreck, but it's not because they lost to this NBL team. Australian pro basketball, no joke. And now NBA fans are just, I think, starting to realize it given the fact that it's trending right now.